Hey guys, what's going on? On today's video, I'm going to take a look at the the number one best deck in the format, Meowstic and Persian. So, you know, we all know this is the best deck in the format right now. And then second best deck in the format is Shores of Reshiram, followed by Peak Rome. We all know that. Yeah. Basic knowledge. Okay. So, the main um, focus of the deck is using Persian to give all of your homies with the Katadai attack free attacks. So, the best Katadai attacker is actually Esper. So, he has this crazy snipe attack, which actually works incredibly well. So, for instance, his, um, what's it called? Meowstick? Meowstick makes the numbers work really well. So he does 70, boom. Next turn, Esper Snipe. 70 plus 140, that's 210, knockout on Zork. I'm gonna apply that same knowledge to take down Charles Rush Ram. 70, take turn to Shrine. 90, 90 plus 180, 270, knockout on Charles Rush Ram. And if I want to take Pekrom down, then I mean this would be a little bit of an overkill, but 80, 70, 1 turn of shine, 80, and then 80, 160, 240. So yeah, numbers work really well. Um, 230 is like kind of where you can't knock him out really. Because hit, you hit for 70. If you would hit that one turn of shine, it's only 220, so like, kind of steep. Now, in case we have no espers on the board to get a mail stick to attack, we'll have to use Litten. And Litten, really good. Solid attack, 60 damage. Um, I mean, he's pretty good. Nothing really wrong with him. And we also have Mr. Mime because we're playing the two shot game and we really want we normally don't want our opponent taking off damage counters because that's all we prey on we basically just bank on damage counters so the spell tag is basically the main selling point for the deck so yeah you hit with um, what's called esper esper snipes off the bench with a spell tag and then once Esper gets knocked out, you have four more damage counters on the field. And basically the cycle just keeps repeating over and over. And yeah, it's pretty good. And there's the Tyrogue. Let's say if you go first, you get the 30 bonus damage. Which makes numbers go by a lot quicker. So we can just hit knockouts on a lot of these tag teams and stuff. Really easily. You have to run four meals. Now there is another Meowth with the uh, Karate Attack, but he only does 30 damage, so it's not really viable. And 70, you have to run 4 of them, because your opponents probably want to try and Guzma as many of these dudes and knock them out as soon as possible. And that deck's pretty standard for Poke Years, like in every deck now. Lieutenant, Kakui, all that good stuff. There's also another build with um, Double Cross Energy, but we don't run that build because I find it a little too clunky. And yeah, let's put it. Um, yep. Mm. Okay. There it is. Okay. and first match looking pretty good. And the strengths of the deck are going to be your GX decks, or your tag team decks, and any two prize Pokemon. Because that's all we, that's all you want Esper. You only want Esper two prize Pokemon. And okay, going first is good. Biggest weakness in the deck 
obviously starting Mr. Mime is bad. That's one of the weaknesses, starting Mr. Mime. And also, one of the weakness is one prize Pokemon. Because one prize Pokemon, you better hope they don't feel blur your, your spell tags, or else you basically lose that match. Oh, that's good. The Tyrogue. And then we'll put down Shrine Lily for five, and it'll be good. So I have no clue why they put this dude down, but like, that's fine. Let's see what we got. Okay, so you didn't get the Meowth, so I'm probably gonna scoop this game. I mean, our punt doesn't really have anything. So, like, in this type of scenario, if they actually had a good board, we'd probably scoop. Because, I do turn one, two meow, that's it. Two meow, one S for, and then you're good. Oh, yeah, the other, the last Catterday attacker, which is Glam Meow. It is really good. The only problem is you can't use spell tag on it, so that's why I didn't put in the deck. You can change it up and do whatever you want. And then for the DC build, the Latios is really good as well. Now he's gonna go for a marshmallow, which will hopefully help us out. I'm not really sure. Okay, that's gonna help us out. Okay, so we're looking for the Meowth next turn, and then we're just gonna Brady kick him. And hopefully, um, hit a heads and target down the three prize Pokemon. And then, yeah. So you have to remember, you always have to remember that magic number, which is the eight. Yeah, eight's the magic number. And the invasion, it's not a knock, but like, he's getting ready. Like, calm away, meow stick. Get the meowth. Meowth, a spur. I'm gonna go. I mean, numbers don't really matter with the Kiwi, so like, sure. And then, without going down. And do that. And then Braddy kick heads or no. Uh, that really sucks. Because if we hit one of these, because the Braddy kicks sometimes really matter. If we hit one of these, we would hit the magic number. And then, like, magic number and all, I'll be good. But if he does hit into this, we will also have the magic number there as well. So yeah, proponents out of luck. We have a lieutenant in hand and we did not poke here. Okay, so to dump a poke here, I'm not gonna need anything. And Lily can get yeah, that's good. Okay, we're gonna get a Rangaroo. I'm gonna dump her hand here. Yeah, so we can get Persian. And then we have a couple options here actually. I have the Persian. Mm, sorry, not that's for doing 80. I'm gonna try to hit the active. Let's run into one draw two. I really like spell tag, so it's really good to hold on to them. Just in case. I'm gonna go for 70. You know, like in this case scenario, you'd much rather not commit than actually do something with that. 
max patient, that's going to be rough. He's going to charge up his gear. No. Okay, almost at the magic number. Um, I mean, this Pokemon's technically really bad for him. Like, our opponent really has nothing, so it's not even worth doing anything. Mm -hmm. Some problems with the deck, or sometimes the deck gets really cluttered. And right here, we really want an Esper to bring up like a Melmore, snipe that, to try and kill. Because right now, we're at the magic number. This is a magic number right here. But we can't actually pull it off. But, depending on the board state, I would probably want to send him up anyways. And draw one. I'm just going to go through the lot. Yeah, we basically won this game and like, yeah, there's no point really. We basically won this game, you should probably concede already. Yeah, that's right, that's right. I'm gonna play one more match because that one wasn't so great. And yeah. I was also thinking, since the Broken Bonds is such a big set, I was thinking about the, the new Caterpie and Metapod. That has really crazy ability where once during your turn you can flip a coin. And if heads, you can just search for its evolution. And so it's really good because the new Butterfree is um, from one energy, one colorless. Search your deck for three energy, attach them to your Pokemon any like. With three basic energy, put them anywhere. It's pretty good. And I was going to make that deck with um, Ho Oh. With a rainbow burn, because I saw rainbow burn being popped up with electrode. A rainbow burn with electrode is not good because you get two prize with electrode, and you get five energies. But the five energies only let you do 180. It's not great. So yeah, so they're facing. Um, auto win right here. And then it's, it's against the second best deck in the format. Like I said, oh, oof, I should have that. <laughs> oh, well, whatever, I'm just gonna hit Lily, and yeah. Okay, Lily off the top seven, obviously. And then six, and then we'll get something. Okay. Um, a couple options. Option number one, which I'm gonna take. I just use the calm right away. I get the second Esper to secure a victory royale. And now I'm gonna get heads on here. Go up to forty. For the Charizard, I remember magic number for Charizard. That's right, 90. 90 got it. Number is 
so you're looking for a spell tag. A nice spell tag here, and then oh, that's good. A spell tag, and that's how you do it. The problem with these Charlie Restaurant decks is they always brick. They, they like literally always brick. You can't do anything about that. They just always brick. Because they run so many fire energies. No one, if he judges himself like this, he's gonna draw straight fire. Okay, I'm just gonna take a knockout. Hmm, it's up to time with you. What do we need? Oh shoot, he's on a blower. That's rough. And what the magic number is? 90. It's not the magic number. <laughs> I'm gonna take one, we're gonna take two then. And then I'm gonna take a knockout on us. And I'll be good. I'm sure I'm just pull these dudes in. Just gotta get a spur. Okay. I'm trying to surprise one of the aspers. And I'm just gonna take a straight knock and get one of the estrus on the prize cards. Or not. I'm just going to use my. It looks like basically got this on the bag unless he does something. I don't know about it's fine. It's almost on the magic number. So we're looking for Yikes, too many. A little too many meals. So, Orangu, Cynthia, and two. And get the hook here. With the Guzma and put your gun with the Lily. And here's the game plan. And yep, let me bench this. Choice mound. Guzma. And then big bite. Okay, now both Charizards with the magic number, basically meaning they are dead. Yep. This might get a little close actually, because it's not going to bench anything for sure. Yeah, so I got a little rough. I'm 
Okay, we need is Looks like we need this a stick, and that's about it. Yeah, I think it's gonna be game. So, like, how much we had again? Oh, yeah, perfect, we need a lid. Remember how many lens you want? No, oh, yeah. I guess so. Well, if you're not, you're not, I'm just asking. No, not yet. Why is answer? <laughs> Why do I want to ask you a question and you never give a straight answer? You always try to give the answer that you think I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm just asking a question. Do you know that she do that? You said, I guess so, instead of not right away. No, I'm not. Why you do that? 